यू बिकम वट यू बिलीव नमस्कार वेलकम टू पी टी पॉइंटर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर मेजर हेडलाइंस ऑफ द हिंदू इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड प्रेस इन्फॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम Let's start today's discussion, and our first headline is related to Ahobilam Temple, which is situated in Andhra Pradesh, and it is traditionally regarded as the place where Vishnu, in the form of Narasimha, killed the Rakshas Hiranyakashyap in order to save his devotee Prahlad. And recently, Forest Department have imposed certain restrictions on the visitors arriving at the Ahobilam Temple in the wake of intense heat waves that can impact the movement of wild animals because this temple is situated in the Nalamala Forest, according to recent study by the Indian Institute of Management. Ahmedabad India must prioritize its investment in nuclear power sector and expand related infrastructure if it is to be on track to become developed nation by 2047 and achieve net zero by 2070 this study was funded by the office of principal scientific advisor and nuclear power corporation of india talking about the nuclear energy so friends it is a form of energy released from the nucleus the core of atoms made up of protons and neutrons and this source of energy can be produced in two ways and this include fission where nuclei of atoms split into several parts or fusion where nuclei fuse together talking about the present status currently nuclear energy makes up only 1.6% of india's energy mix our next headline is related to shrimp and it is in the news because recently india rejected report on abusive conditions at shrimp hatcheries which was raised by chicago based human rights group talking about the present status of shrimp in india india has emerged as one of the world's largest shrimp exporters and its share in the us market has risen from 21% to 40% in 2022 2023 and andhra pradesh alone account for almost 70% of india's shrimp output our next headline is related to surrogacy laws in india and it is in the news because recently it has been noticed that number of privileged indians traveling abroad to have a baby via surrogacy now what is surrogacy so friends it is a contractual process by which a woman carries and delivers a child for a couple after an embryo is implanted in her through in vitro fertilization talking about the surrogacy laws in india so friends government has allowed married couple to use an egg or sperm of a donor in case one of the partners is suffering from a medical condition and as per the rules district medical board has to certify that either the husband or wife is suffering from a medical condition necessitating the use of donor gamete and as per the rules single woman which includes widow or divorcee undergoing surrogacy must use self eggs and donor sperm to avail the surrogacy procedures but restrictions on access to surrogacy for single persons live in couples and lgbtq couples have been criticized and do you know friends Commercial surrogacy is banned in India and couples can only pay for an altruistic surrogate's insurance coverage and medical expenses in India. Our next headline is related to glacial lake outburst which is a sudden release of water from the lake fed by the glacier melt and it is in the news because recently Uttarakhand government has constituted teams of experts to evaluate the risk posed by five potentially hazardous glacial lakes in the region and these lakes are prone to glacial lake outburst floods that has resulted in several disasters in the himalayan states in recent years our next and last headline is related to ring of fire and it is in the news because recently taiwan's biggest earthquake in at least 25 years killed nine people and do you know friends Taiwan is prone to earthquakes as it lies along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Now what is Ring of Fire? So friends, it is a string of hundreds of volcanoes and earthquake sites which runs along the Pacific Ocean. It is a semicircle or horseshoe in shape and it traces the meeting points of numerous tectonic plates which includes Eurasian, North American, Juan de Fuca, Cocos Caribbean, Nazca, Antarctic, Indian, Australian, Philippine and other smaller plates and it runs through 15 more countries which includes USA, Indonesia, Mexico, Japan, Canada, Guatemala, Russia, Chile, Peru and Philippines and Ring of Fire is the most seismically and volcanically active zones in the world. So with this, let's conclude our today's discussion. Thanks for listening and for regular updates, you can follow us on various social media platforms.